Hi everybody, it's Phil here at Sheldon Bosley Knight. We've got a property tour for you today. Um, as you can see, we've got a quite a big frontage here to this house. We're up on Park Lane, which is at the very top end of Stockingford. Stockingford's broke down into loads of different areas and this bit goes as Grove Farm. So we're right at the, the top end. Um, we've got the uh, primary school just over the road uh, that is called Park Lane. So ideal position. Uh, sort of semi-rural spot there's lots of bridle paths and walkways that way Gully Common is literally just down the road here and uh, yeah we'll tell you a little bit more about where we are and where we're situated obviously of course but that's the front of the house there's a big driveway here at the front as I said so let's uh, stop the camera I'll turn it around the rain's just about to come unfortunately so let's have a quick whiz round out of here before the rain comes that's the front of the house just there as you can see would have been a garage set previously there um, that's all been converted and now it's giving you this extra sort of um, living space i'm just going to turn around here so you can see um, obviously some kids clubs going on so there's a few cars jotted around just down there is the little small tunnel that takes you down to galley common if we head that direction that takes you across the ansley road and back in towards the uh, other parts of stocking Ford. So let's uh, let's get in. It's number eleven that we're going to. So let's get in. So the porch was added just a few years ago, so that's really quite good. There, you're not straight into the front of the house. So all nicely done, very smart laminate flooring, and then you've got the original front door and the original entrance hall here. So there's another bit of a space here. There's a radiator. You've got some fitted clothes pegs and then straight up in front of us is the stairway here. There is a door here. It's just open at the moment and there would have been a hall. You can see where the hall would have been in, but that's all been changed and it's now all open here. So the original lounge is on the front. Full central heating on here, full double glazing. Just going to turn around here so you can see exactly where we are. The blinds obviously are closed at the front, but there's plenty of light would have been coming in there. It's a bit of a dark and gloomy day today. This is where all the changes of the house have been. Originally, there would have been a kitchen section in here and a small dining area. It's been extended out the back that way. This bit on the right hand side, then you've got a little bit of a study sort of area just there. That's quite handy. And then the door on the side would have been into where the original garage was but this is a fantastic space very much kitted out a whole set of shaker style units there's a breakfast bar double oven the hob you've got space for washing machines and the dishwasher in there big tall fridge freezer very very good space there's a lobby and then there's another room on the back another um sort of ground floor wet room so if you've got maybe that extended family you wanted to use this then as a bedroom and have the other room as the lounge that may work and maybe go to go through here into the wet room but you've got this very very sizable sitting room again radiators in there hiding behind the far sofa just there as you can see it's laminate flooring all the way through lobby so you've got the door out then to the back garden it's a nice when you're coming in perhaps through the side gate which is just down the way there and come into this section and then a very large wet room it's got the low level shower enclosure just folds out and joins together as you can see that's all in there low level shower fitting and if someone was wheelchair bound, then you could wheel up to here because there's no pedestal bit to that either. So there we go. So let's turn that round and we'll have a look back upstairs and show you the what was the original house. So up we go onto the landing. Three bedrooms here. We've got the bedroom on the back. This one's got the run of triple wardrobe sliding door wardrobes there there's hanging rails and shelving nice size bedroom 
similar on the front this one's got freestanding units in which obviously will go good size again bedroom three original third bedroom and there is some storage there just over the stairway you can see the extent of the driveway just there that's it the bird's eye view and then there's another wet room on the back here fully tiled in here you can see the wet room there and the low level shower again the white suite obviously so let's get down to the garden then tell you all about that well we're outside now as you can see there's the extension to the house there is a initial bit of sort of patio area just here and it's all been walled off and then it opens up into what is a very low maintenance garden you're probably going to want to landscape and freshen it up there but you've got all of that and then if i turn around there's even more there is a raised sort of flower bed um, there with some shrubs and they've put some loose patio down here but if i walk to right to the bottom of the garden and show you exactly where we are it's a big big garden look quite a distance away from the houses the timber gate on the side just there so you come down the side of the property and there's a gate in there um, so that's just the right of way there so no no issues at all let's head up to the top and turn the camera around tell you a little bit more so there we go that's number 11 park lane um, it's quite a sizable plot here and it's quite a sizable house as well it's got all this extra accommodation by virtue of the converted garage and then this extra bit that's been added on the back that opens it up so we consider it's ideal for maybe multi-generational family if you've got that extra extended family living at home maybe parents or kids um two or three sections of them um maybe if there's someone that is disabled and struggling with stairs and whatnot there's the room downstairs you've also got the ground floor wet room as well so that could work very very well it's a good position here you've got lots and lots of walkways nearby very very close to the bridal paths it's a very much a semi-rural location just at the um on the ansley road just here there's loads of walks i've done them many many times i only live down the road a little bit nearer um sort of the round towers just down that direction so lots of paths lots of walkways seaswood pools nearby road links are fantastic if you've got children in the junior school the primary school is literally dead opposite the, the house here. Other schools are down the road, high schools. Um, there's another school in Galley Common. There's other little amenities down in Galley Common as well. There's a um, co-op, which is very, very handy. Obviously, we've got an Audi here in Kingswood Road as well. So all the amenities, everything literally on the doorstep. So we feel as though it's worth coming to have a look at this one. We're going to launch the property to the market at £250,000. If you fancy coming to have a view, let us know. We'll get you booked in for a viewing on here nice and quickly. Don't forget, keep subscribing though to our YouTube page. There'll be a link here, down here in that corner. Click it, subscribe, and you'll see properties on here before they hit the main portals. So certainly worth doing that. So thanks for watching. Do take care. All the best.